In this video, I'm going to show you how to write a program that will prompt the user for input of a string to be broken into tokens or individual words. The output will be displayed on individual lines on the monitor. The first thing that I want to do is include all of the header files that will be needed to access the appropriate functions to create this program. After that, we're going to move down to find a macro that will set the maximum limit of the buffer array and I'll use that to hold the user's input. To do that I'm going to uh, give it a name LGTH which is an abbreviation for length and then I'm going to set that to 512. So the maximum length is going to be 512 characters which is going to uh, be a universal throughout my program. So down here in main, we're going to create some uh, variables. Before I do that, I am going to put this return zero at the end of main before I forget. I'm defining a constant char pointer word that's going to hold the address of the first character in each individual word string that will be tokenized as we continue through the program. So here I've created a char buffer, and it's going to have that length of 512 as we had set in the define macro earlier. And that's going to actually hold the string phrase that the user inputs from the keyboard. We're going to set another pointer called delims, and that's also going to be a constant char pointer and that is going to hold the individual characters that we'll search for in our string phrase and we'll tokenize based off of those characters. So that will be a space, a period, a comma, a question mark, exclamation, semicolon, and colon. Now that some of the preliminary work is done, we can start writing some code. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prompt the user to enter a line of text. This function here, get, that I'm passing in buffer and my length, is a function that I created, um, just kind of messing around, but it's, it's equivalent to like get s or f get s. The parameters that it takes is a char pointer and an integer the char pointer would be equivalent to an array, the name of an array, and an integer is going to be the length, the maximum length that you want that array to be. So when this function is called, it's going to, at that point, prompt the user to, uh, wait, it's going to wait for the user to input via the keyboard. And then when you're done, that whatever you entered in the keyboard will be stored into buffer and it will not exceed the, the maximum length LGTH whatever you define that value to be. After we got the input from the user we're going to um, go ahead and print out what they entered. So we're going to create a printf here and just output the contents of buffer on the display. I'm going to use a standard library function called strtok here that we're going to send in our buffer and our delimiters. And by doing that, it will automatically replace those delimiters that were found in that string with a null terminator. This will break apart our original string at those delimiter locations and it will and it will place the pointer at the first character of the first word in that string. So then when we go to print it out, the printf starts at that first address of word and then stops at the null. I'm going to write a loop that will print out the value of word while advancing the pointer to the next null character that has been added to the original string. 
that it was stored in buffer. The strtok function will take care of the pointer iteration and advance to the next word in the phrase. We'll keep looping through these statements until word is assigned a null from the strtok function. Printf in this loop will display the contents of word each time through the loop. You'll notice when string or strtok is called, the second time we have to put a null as the first parameter instead of the buffer array as we did the first time it was called. I'm going to finish typing this out here and then we'll kind of clean up our while loop and move this lower closing brace up a little bit. I'm going to add a comment here so I know that this is the end of the while statement. Down here I'm going to make another printf call and we're going to basically going to repeat what we did the first time and we're just going to print out the buffer so you can see an output what is in there now compared to what was in there originally. Clean this up a little bit. I'm going to add a git char in here otherwise my program will just exit um, right away after I run it. So I'll put that in there. So let's go ahead and uh, compile and run this program and uh, see what we get. So no compile errors popped up there. And let's go to run it. Let me bring my window over. And I'm going to enter a line of text. This is my dot line of text. So I put some uh, punctuation marks in there just to make sure that we actually um, split those. Those will be token points. And there you go. We've got this is my line of text that I will use. And then each one of those words were tokened out and printed out on a new line. Excellent. And the last buffer held this. So that was different from original. So works great.